And after put all this ingredient, his aubergine, we put uh, the pepper, we put the leek and the onion. We use a spring onion as well. The spring onion, you can use that on the first time when you add all the things together. Or you can do it before put your oil, like me, I always do. I put my spring onion when I put my oil. When everything is boiled together, after that, I need to use my oil. After two hours, I put my oil. When the pondu is uh, ready for when it's soft, and then I have to put my oil. I put oil, it will depend of the quantity of the, it will depend of the quantity of the pondu that you can use the oil. Like today, I cook four packets of pondu. I use all my bottle of oil. But this oil is better as well to use for the pondu, it's from Asda is the good quality of the oil because it have uh, vitamin A and E and as well it have omega 3 and 6 as well. That's why we prefer use it, it's better for the body as well. Um, after 30 minutes, when my oil and uh, my spring onion are, have added uh, in the pondu, you can now close, take, put off your yeah. cooker because the pondu is ready. I yeah. forgot something. You can put as well the fish, the fish in the pondu. But for the fish, we depend for the person because some people don't eat fish. Some of them, they eat. The people who eat fish, we depend for kind of fish you want to put inside. We have different fish you can use. We have a, f a smoked fish. We have a uh, Dilsha, you can use that. We have Makerelo, you can use that as well. That's, it depends on tilapia. Can you show us what pondu looks like after cooking? Yeah, you can see if you want. This is my pondu. Uh, if uh, I, just a quick question, what is showing pondu as well? You see? Nana? Yeah? Just a quick question, why are you showing pondu? Yeah. Uh, is it the same cooking when you were back home or is it different? No, it's still the same. Still the same? Yeah. All the ingredients is Yeah, it's still, still the same because still the same, yeah. yeah, in the Congo we smash all the ingredients together with the pondu. But the problem here is because they bring uh, the the pondu is come from Africa. Africa. They bring the bring that here for us. That's why we buy it frozen. Normally in Africa we use it as a fresh vegetable. We don't need to freeze that in the fridge in the freezer because it, we have it a lot in in the country. But so, so what kind of food do you eat with a pondu? With pondu you can eat different foods. We have today like today we have chicken. We make uh, we made a I made a chicken legs. And uh, we have uh, a salt fish as well. This is salt Salty fish. fish yeah. Yum. Um, we have rice also. We eat with rice, so we, this is rice. And we use a, a semolina as well. This is semolina, but we, we didn't cook yet because the semolina has to be cooked when people are ready to eat because uh, they have to be, be eat it hot. Hot. Okay. So, what advice can you give to people if they want to find pondu? Is it where they can find the pondu? Uh, if people want to find pondu, there is uh, we have uh, we have many shop here. We have African shop uh, like me. I pray in Saint Luke Church, is uh, New Life Church. We have many people that uh, have a shop. In my my church, we have two people, Mama Rose and uh, Papa Omer, they have a shop who is in Leeds and the Sheffield. We have as well Papa Jose is in our church. Um, the, the, the shop is in Drake Street in Rochdale. We have, but the problem is I don't know the address, but if you people want to find Pondu, they can just look on the first book on uh, our leaflet. We have a phone number. I would like and to ask a question because I've been to some places around Manchester. What do you say? The background is noisy. I, I would like to ask a question because I've been in high street shops like in Chitam Hill where there are a lot of African and Asians um, uh, food, 
Is it possible to find to get a pondu from Shitami Hill or alongside? I think so, yes, because there is a lot of African shop on there. But the problem is I don't know the name of the shop because I live in Austria. I would like to ask a question I do not know. You might not be uh, able to tell me it, but I have to ask it in a way. Do you think that people can be allergic to pondu or not? Um, I don't think so, but it will depend for people because uh, allergic, it depends for the person because some people are allergic of anything. I don't know, that will depend. So let us ask you the same question to one of your colleagues. I yeah. don't know if he has a different point of view to tell us if okay, just people one are thing. allergic to ponder. No, there is no people allergic to ponder. And the, the allergy is about the personality, the person. It's not really about everybody. And we've got our colleague who is the, the other side of the living room. He will tell us about cassava leaves. You know, cassava leaves can be dangerous when it's not well cooked. Oh, and thank of course, John Luke, John Luke, who can tell us about this poison, kind of poisoning. But is just the cassava leaves leaves need to be cooked properly. It takes time, one hour, one hour and fifty, how, how half half an hour, one and a half an hour. It can take more. More than one, it can take two hours two to hours cook because hours. it's really some, like yeah, Nana said before, is a uh, yeah, some acids. So, with that, we have to cook it properly to get it very soft. When it's not really soft, it's not good to eat, so nice to eat. So, uh, Jean Luc will be talking about the poisoning from this kind of food. Thank you very much. It's a much. vegetable that people like, but you will enjoy it. That is already a clear, clear yeah, answer for Nana me. Cooked. Thank you very much, Sister Nana. Um, I think yeah. that we have got uh, quite enough explanation on a pundu. Mm -hmm. And thank you for letting us know what it is, how we're going to cook it, how we can eat it. Mm -hmm. uh, all that remains is for us to test it, to, to see if we're going to enjoy it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, I think uh, you mentioned that you can eat it with semolina, you can yeah, use the rice to eat it with it, and and it oh, platin as yeah, well, yeah, and you can things, also yeah. mix it and eat with a chi chicken, yeah, yeah. and uh, you mentioned all the fresh sort of fish, and you mentioned the fresh yeah. fish. Uh, something I wanted to ask that crosses my crosses my mind was Mike, macro. I don't know. How to oh, macro. 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 You yeah. can use macro to, to cook. Put on the food. All right. Oh, that's that's a brilliant. Thank you, you very can much. Use as well. So as I we know. I have one pizza, I think, see, yeah? All right. So as we see and we have already yeah, seen it, it's a type of well. vegetable full of vitamin, full of. Uh, uh, need the nutrients yeah. for the body mm -hmm. that uh, probably you know I think it is not wasted in Africa is it yeah. but people do not throw it away people no. it is a very cherished yeah, I, yeah. I do understand if it, it is, comes to this point of being probably published and uh, you know you do a lot of work on it it has to be a really a good product yeah, yeah, so I would like to say great thank you very much uh, then we'll see you you know, we'll test it and see how it's a test. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, <laughs> now in my in my understanding is the time now people are going to test a pondu that has been cooked by a uh, sister Nana. Yeah. Uh, so we said a group. One group. Uh, okay. One and one this test. is a class group. Yeah, yeah. Uh, everybody uh, as a team yeah. who are yeah. presenting pondu. Mm as uh, a project uh if i do understand it correctly yeah uh, so you you will all each have a turn to tell us how you test the pondu what is the difference in uh, the test between you know individual people okay so okay. sister nana you tell us what you're going to do how you serve a pondu how do you serve it I, i'm sorry i have not got any idea how to do that how to save the pondu? Yes. Just take the, the spoon and then took the pondu. <laughs> is it is it uh, all right? Serving spoon or a big spoon? No, a cooking spoon. No, yeah, this is a cooking spoon. All I right. have to serve on the plate. Normally, I Should don't have to put it. that here. Should if I want to put on the table, I need to put that on the bowl. All right. 
the ball that I can serve people on the table. Yeah, right. All right. But because this we want to test, that's why I want you to put a small here. For Thank us you to very test. much. I just put that so. Who's going to test the first? Yeah. Oh, I, I, I remember from his interview, he said how much he loved the Bondu. Yeah, well, uh, I'm going to see him, you know, <laughs> it's, it's a like big it, yeah. pleasure to see a person who loves okay. something testing it. Like I told you, do you see the water? It's yellow. Mm -hmm. huh? It's not green. It's yellow. That is mean it's very, very well cooked. Let me try that. Mm. Mm. Yummy, 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 delicious. Oh, my God. Mm. Ah. Mm. <laughs> That's ex exceptionally uh. nice. Oh. What do you think of the taste? Can you tell us your name, please? Sorry. Blaze. Oh, Blaze. How do you taste it? How? What, what does it taste like? Very, very nice. Very nice. Mm. Have you eaten it before? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Thank you very much yeah, yeah. for the confirmation. Can you tell us your name, please? Yomi Yomi. Yomi Yomi. Yes, my name is Willy Konga. Willy Konga. How does how does it taste? It's very very nice. Very nice. Yeah. What makes it taste so, nice to you? <laughs> no, no. What does it? What makes it taste very nice to you? Is it ingredient? Is no, it the uh, smell? No, uh, no, no, no. Only the the, 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 the smell. Ingredient, ingredient, uh, ingredient. Uh, and uh, everything that uh, that uh, that has gone inside. Yeah. That's uh, brilliant. Okay. Uh, do we have somebody else to yeah, test it? Yeah, yeah. Can you tell us your yeah, name? Yeah, my name is Didier. Didier? Yeah, one of the members of the group as well. Yes. We're gonna test this one. Didier, the man of the meat. Wow, wow. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. How does it test? Wow. Soup. Oh, yummy, yummy. Oh, that's, that sounds that sound really oh, great. Wow. Who do we have next to test? Yeah, let me try again, again. Oh, my <laughs> God. Who do we have next to test? Can you tell you tell us your name, please? My name is Louis Omokenge. Louis Omokenge. All right, Louis Omokenge. How does it taste? Very good. Have you eaten the pondo before? Yes, every day. Every all right. Oh, that's I it. I love it. It's more than a confirmation. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Who is the text take testing next? Can you tell us your name, please? Rafael Sasa. Oh, Rafael Sasa. Yeah, the project manager. That's okay, me. good. And how does it taste? Mm. 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 Thank you very much. That looks very good to everybody. I would like, I would like to test the mice. All right, go on and test. Natalie, come to us. Come, come on, test. Because I want to from there. How do you think of some test? Is it nice? The group, so we're gonna test again. Do you agree that it is good? Sense it is nice, but because I'm cooking myself, I need them to say it's nice or not. All right, super mad to finish that quick because no, no, it's too so nice. I would like to test them myself too. Yeah, so well, I, I, I'm sorry that I have an issue here. It is difficult because I can't test Pondu the way you test. Really? <laughs> because when Sister Nana told me here, mm. she told me that Pondu is eaten away for rice, away yeah. for whatever. But you are testing Pondu on its own, <laughs> which is okay. I, I totally understand that. But I would like to test the Pondu in a way that I was told that it is eaten. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Let me tell you something. We are testing Pondu as a cassava leaves mm -hmm. because our project is about mm -hmm. cassava Legion leaves. And when we serve cassava leaves on the table where all the people will eat, that will be served with rice. Some people will be eating with uh, semolina or, you know. My issue here is that I want to have a good is impression. You will be testing that in a complete way. All right. But for now, let us show people that we are talking we about cassava leaves. Cassava leaves is that right? okay? Yeah. Brilliant. Mm -hmm. There is one more people coming there too. One, one more person, person coming. Who is it? Uh, Natalie. 
Nathalie. Yeah, yeah, Nathalie. Yeah, who's a colleague? Who is a Nathalie? A class yeah, colleague yeah. as well. For me, I think it's a little bit spicy. Oh, it is a spice. <laughs> All right, uh, I, I forgot. Uh, can you use a spicy ingredient in a pondo? Yes, yes, yes. Cow. Yeah, you can put just a little bit for uh, make it uh, really, really nice and better for. You put some spice like what? Is it chili? Is it a, a ground pepper? Is it a. I think it's ground pepper. You put ground pepper. To make it yeah. a spice. It's pepper. Yeah, yeah pepper. Yeah. And, uh, and chili as well. As well. We can use so chili, can chili well. but the problem is people in Europe here, not everybody uses uh, chili or pepper because sometimes the spice, when it's too spicy, it's difficult but for it's certain people like to eat. Spicy, so that, that's, that's, really that's why bit, yeah. we put spices sometimes aside. You know, we put chili aside. It, for no, uh, to avoid that all the people don't eat it because you know people f suffer from high blood pressure. They can't eat uh, cassava leaves with uh, too much oils. Mm -hmm. Can't eat cassava leaves with too much pepper. You know, you know, certain things can be not good for. Mm -hmm. you.